Create a trading platform in Python part 5. Send an order. In this video we will send an order, create a cancel all button, create a variable for next valid ID which is needed to make each individual trade or order. Okay, first thing I want to do is make that variable for the order ID. And you can make it any number you want. Paste it here. Or put it here. Next, I'm going to make that cancel button. And you want to put that um, at the bottom of this where you create your widgets. Just put that in there. And then you're going to place it on row 7, column 2, and name it cancel all, and put a command for when you click on the button, cancel all, and then we're going to put the method in there, or function, in here. basically just cancels all the orders that are pending you can click on the cancel all button and this is a function okay next I want to add a command for the buy and sell buttons that we made earlier this is sell so I'm going to put that here call a function called sell when you click on the sell button and do the same for the buy okay now let's create those functions for the buy and sell and you can paste them in anywhere here I'll put them anywhere in here Guess you can't paste it because you don't have all the code already written out for you. And I left an explanation at the end of each of these, and you can read through them. I want to do a place market order function or method. When you um, press the buy button, this function is called, and then it sends all this, calls the uh, place market order and sends all this information, passes it to the place market order, and then basically we create a contract. Next thing we want to do is uh, add a create order function or method so go down here where we created the contract and add that in there like this create order okay next I want to create a tick event for the text boxes bid ask and last price so go back up to your widgets and for the bid text box Uncomment out this um, click event here. Do the same for the ask and the same for the what is it? The last price. I'm gonna have to add a button click method for that. I'm gonna copy it from the ask. Put that in here. Change it to last. Change that to last. Put 
put uh, self dot text box last. And that gets added to the grid. Okay, and now I have to do the method for all those or function, whatever you call them. Add those right here. Basically when you click on the bid, it puts the bid price in the limit price box or the same for ask and last price. Okay, let's give it a try. Press run or F5. Save it. Press connect. Yes. Hit enter Netflix in the combo box here. Get the data coming in. Click on any one of these. Uh, ask, bid, or last price to get the price in the limit box. You can change that up or down. Hit sell. You cancel that order. You can cancel it here on the interactive brokers mosaic thing. Cancel it all in my program. Let's do a buy order. Let's see. Buy. Same thing. You can either cancel all here or cancel it here. Okay, please like and subscribe. I'm going to do another video on updating the portfolio. More things to come. If you missed any of the code, uh, please go to my website, sharpertradingimage.com. Um, you can also make a donation if you feel like it. Or not. Or help me out in other ways. Thanks for watching.